What's up, Melanated family? This is your boy Harrison from MelanatedFathers.com and Melanated Fathers TV. And what we're doing today is a episode of History Matters, where we talk about a specific time in history, a specific place in history, just to give the family context on a lot of the things that we see here in our country. So today, what we are going to talk about is the creation of what has been dubbed as the $5 Indian. Now, what is a $5 Indian? I'll get into the details of how it transpired here in a second. But basically, uh, um, you know, it was a white man or a white person, basically, who paid money to get on what was called the Dolls Rolls to um, be, be counted as an Indian person which came with a lot of benefits, right? So now today, when we see a lot of, um, when we see a lot of casinos, and if you ever seen the Indians who run the casino, a lot of the times they're like lily white people, right? We see like Dog the Bounty Hunter has claimed he's Cherokee Indian or some shit like that. So what we've seen is an influx of these Indian people who look more Caucasian. And what I'm gonna do today is break down to you why that is a fact. Now, the Dawes Commission, and what it, it is what it was called, was established in 1893 to enforce the General Allotment Act of 1887, or the Dawes Act, as it was called, was charged with convincing tribes to cede their land to the United States and divide the remaining land into individual allotments. Now, the commission also required Indians to claim membership in only one tribe and register on the Dolls Roll what the government meant to be as like a um, definitive record of individuals with Indian blood, right? So the Curtis Act, which was passed in 1898, targeted the five civilized tribes specifically. Those five tribes were the Cherokee, the Choctaw, the Chickasaw, Creek, and the Seminole Indians. Now, forcing them to basically it accept allotments and register on the Dawes Rolls too. Now the two acts, the Curtis Act and the Dawes Act, um, basically came after the Civil War when white and black men were intermarrying with Native American women. So the government aimed, you know, to help track the real Indians while accelerating efforts to assimilate Indian people into white culture. Now by 1865, African American and white Americans were moving into the Midwest, into the Indian and Oklahoma territories, all buying for some, you know, some patch of land that they can call their own, right? Um, and live their their version of what they considered to be independence. Now, the federal government poured a lot of effort and energy into the Dawes Commission, but at the same time, it was hard for both Native and American governments to keep track of who was who, right? Now, to, to start this process, what they would do, the Dawes Commission set up tents in Indian territory. Um, and there, the field clerks would use written records. They would take oral testimony um, just to basically generate enrollment cards for the individuals determined to have Indian blood. Now, we have people who are white, but who can trace their names back to this role used by tri um, tribal nations to ascertain who has the right um, to citizenship, right? So this is really important because this basically means um, white people had the ability to vote at large. They had the ability to, put, to affect political rights. They had the ability to influence tribal policy, right? And they weren't even Indians. And, and, and they their influence became apparent on several different issues, whether it was healthcare, education, employment, they had a say on how these particular tribes were ran. And you know, the, imp the implications from this is pretty profound because for all intents and purposes, it was fraud, right? So on the flip side of that, while non-natives paid to play Indian, many authentic Indians who did not trust the government chose not to register with the Dawes Rolls at the time. So, so imagine that, right? It, it, the Dawes Rolls was created 
to verify who they were and ultimately give them benefits, which we see being handed out now, but because they didn't trust the government, um, the same way a lot of people don't trust the government now or non-white people don't trust the government now, they ultimately didn't get what was coming to them, right? So at the end of the day, the Dolls Rolls forever changed the way the federal government defines Indians. And in many cases, the way Indians define themselves because, um, you know, we have the casinos. And like I said, most, if not all of them are would be considered $5 Indians. And then if you go to real um, Indian reservations, which I've seen a few, the people there don't look like they're benefiting from all of the money that's been generated um, from their tribes and different things like that. Right, family? So that's been another episode of History Matters. Please share this information with your family. Share this information with your friends. Please share this video as well. It's important that we get the a contextual idea of everything that has taken place before us so we can know exactly how we are to move forward, right? So this has been another episode of History Matters. Please go to melanatedfathers.com, check out the website, follow me, um, go to the uh, YouTube page, which is Melanated Fathers TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe the page. There is a History Matters section on the YouTube page as well, so you can see this video and many more like it. I'm out. What's up, Melanated family? This